For what purpose does our fellow delegate from Minnesota rise? Mr. Chancellor, can I address the House for one minute? Without objection, the gentleman from Minnesota has one minute. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Later this week, I plan on introducing legislation, the Patients' Freedom to Choose Act, along with Senator Kay Bailey Hutchinson from Texas. This legislation will repeal two provisions of the new health care law that limit a patient's choice on how to use their consumer-directed health care plans. Because beginning in 2013, contributions to flexible spending accounts will be limited by a new federal cap of $2,500. The new health care law will also prohibit individuals from using their health care savings accounts and their flexible spending accounts to purchase over-the-counter medication without a prescription from their doctor. Mr. Speaker, 10 million Americans now are enrolled in HSAs and over 35 million people have FSAs, while 85 percent of all large employers offer them as a benefit to their employees. This legislation is needed because these two provisions in the health care law will punish families at a cost of over $5 billion. Instead of limiting options as is happening under this new health care law, we should be empowering patients by giving them increased access to affordable quality care. And I yield back. Gentleman yields back.